Since the release of the new iOS 16.5, I've seen a lot of complaints by iOS users regarding the battery life that they're getting on this update. Well, in my experience using iOS 16.5 since beta 1, I had a pretty good battery life on my device and sometimes it was really really great like i got about 14 hours on screen with about 120 percent battery life which is actually really really good so in this video i will share with you guys the key tips and tricks that i use to get that battery life on my device running ios 16.5 but before we get into that i just want to talk about another problem now i've seen and i always see this after every like ios update a lot of people complaining about the battery health dropping once they have updated their device to iOS 16.5. Well, the case here is that the battery health that you get on your settings app when you go to battery, go to battery health and charging, this right here will change once you update your device. Because even if it drops right now, it's at 96 here on my device. So if it drops at 95, it will show that only when I update my device, because that's the time when the iPhone will check all of its components again and will basically recalibrate, adjust and show the real battery health of the device now you can also view that if you have the apple support app if you don't go ahead and download it from the app store so go ahead and download this app and all you have to do here is go to your device and from the device here tap on more go to battery life and here you will be able to check this simply by tapping on check now and it will show you the actual battery health of your device which should be if you have recently updated your device it should be the same as on the settings app but if you haven't updated for a long time this here might be different so don't worry about that updating your device won't cause the battery health to drop down so here are my 12 key tips and tricks that I use personally on my device to get amazing battery life. Now, first of all, when you update your device, if you have used any of the betas of any software, you have to make sure that you have already updated your device to the latest release. If you're on a dev beta or a public beta, that would be in this case with iOS 16.5, it will be the RC2 because you won't get the public update if you have that because that's the same update. And of course, always make sure that you have updated to the latest software release that way you will get great battery life on your device because always we have different bug fixes improvements and all that that will have an impact on battery life as well next up make sure you use auto lock on your device so whenever you leave your some your phone somewhere maybe you're working you leave it on a desk or something like that it will stay unlocked and that of course will cause the battery to drain a lot because the screen is turned on all the time even though you might not be using it at all so go to display and brightness and right here will have auto lock and make sure you choose one of these this will of course have an impact on the security of your phone as well because if you forget your phone somewhere you want it to auto lock and not stay unlocked like that so make sure you go ahead and choose one of these options the less of course the better so your iphone will lock itself and turn off the screen next up is siri now personally i use siri very very rarely so if you don't also use Siri, make sure you adjust a few settings here. So first of all, go to Siri and search. And if you don't use the hey command, make sure you have it turned off right here. Now the point here is to turn off things that are, that are always working in the background, but you don't actually need them. So if you have this enabled, it will actually be working in the background. So make sure you have that turned off right there. And what you can do is also go under accessibility and he will have also a, an option for Siri and here, what you will have to do is make sure that you have this disabled always li always listen for the hey word so this will basically cause your iphone to always be waiting for that command even though the screen might be turned off or it's covered or the phone is facing down it will always be listening and just waiting for that command that of course will consume battery so make sure you have that turned off Next up, screen time. Now screen time is a great feature which basically will give you reports on how you have been using your iPhone and all that. But if you don't really care about it, if you don't use it, make sure you have it turned off. Now screen time will of course be collecting data and working in the background all the time. Again, processes, things that are working in the background and we don't need them, make sure you cut them off. Just go ahead, turn off screen time if you don't actually use it. Now, when it comes to the battery, a huge impact will be the haptics that you get out of your device. So every time your phone rings or get notifications, there will be a vibration 
from the vibrating motor which of course consumes a ton of battery. What you need to do, head on to sounds and haptics and here we'll have a few options. So play haptics in ring mode, play haptics in silent mode. You can turn these off. So if you want to play haptics in silent mode, that's okay of course because you don't want to miss any notifications or maybe calls but for the ring mode i wouldn't suggest that you keep vibration on i don't think you need that so make sure you have it turned off right here and if you don't feel the need to using the haptics on the keyboard you can also go ahead and turn these off from here as well as the keyboard sounds if you just don't like them go ahead and turn them off that will save a bit of battery as well Next up are live activities. Now with the release of live activities, we have a ton of apps that do support that feature. And there are a ton of apps that like fun apps. You can have like different things displaying on the lock screen. Well, if you don't actually need, you don't, you're not using a live activity, don't just put it there on the lock screen because that will consume battery as well. And there's also another option that Apple has released with the TV here, if you go to live activities, and this is for sports apps, you will have more frequent updates. And this right here also tells you that it will actually drain the battery of your iPhone faster, which means that the app will give you more frequent updates with live activities, but at the same time, it will have a really bad, bad impact on the battery life. So if you don't really need this, make sure you have it switched off. Now, when I think about things that actually drain the battery of the iPhone, LTE, 4G, 5G, whatever you use, probably is one of the biggest battery drainers of your iPhone. Now, what I would suggest you do is even though you might have an unlimited data plan and you don't care about connecting to Wi-Fi, when you have the chance, use Wi-Fi as much as possible instead of cellular data. Using your iPhone on cellular data all the time will have a huge, huge impact on battery life. And that, of course, will drain the battery a lot. Also, when you're on an environment where there's like no like good signal quality for your seller, make sure to turn on the airplane mode because your iPhone will try to reconnect to like different points all the time and that will just drain the battery out of your iPhone. Now one simple thing but that will save a ton of battery is the auto brightness feature. So go under accessibility, display and text size, scroll all the way down, always make sure that you use auto brightness. Auto brightness will adjust itself, will adjust the brightness of the screen itself, and that of course will just save a ton of battery, especially when you're in a really dark environment, you don't want to have your brightness up, that will be bad for your eyes, but as well bad for the battery of your iPhone. And of course, dark mode. If you have an iPhone with an OLED display, use dark mode as much as possible. Now you can see right here, all these pixels all these parts were all black, they are just parts of the iPhone screen that is turned off completely. That way it will actually save a ton of battery on your iPhone. So to turn on, of course, dark mode, you can do that from here or from the control center, or you can schedule it here, but just choose to use it as much as possible because all the parts of the screen where there's like a dark place, it will actually turn off the screen completely. That way it consumes way less battery. And a classic one is background app refresh, which actually does have a huge impact on the battery of your iPhone. So head on to the general settings and here you will find background app refresh. You will have a ton of apps here, which probably don't need to be working on the background. So you can just go ahead and turn these off right here. Make sure that you do this for most of the apps that you have on your device. Of course, you might have a few apps that you want to be refreshing in the background. Otherwise, for the other ones, you can just go ahead and turn them off. That will also have a huge impact on getting better battery life on your iPhone. One thing that you should never forget when it comes to battery is that the notifications will play a huge role on how much battery you get out of your iPhone. So head on to notifications here and make sure you go ahead and take a look at this list right here. So you can see I have a ton of apps here that I have notifications completely off for them. If you don't really need to get notifications for that app immediately, make sure you go ahead and completely turn it off or at least go ahead and just put them on the scheduled summary, which is a great feature. So you can do that easily from here. So if you turn on the notifications of an app, you can go ahead and just put them on the scheduled summary. So they will come once or twice a day to your device. So you don't have those notifications coming in all the time. 
And last but not least is location services. Now, in my case, I keep location services off all the time. The only time I will turn it on is when I need it. So I just click the switch here and all the location services are turned off on my device. And of course, all the other apps here, I have checked them. All of them will have the option to use it while using the app. And the best thing would be for most apps to turn off precise location as well. So you just make sure you go ahead and check this list and see what apps are using your locations and make sure you turn most of them off if you don't actually need it. And if you just use it from time to time, make sure that you completely turn off location services so that you don't really bother with that. You only turn it on when you need it. And then we have system services here as well. There are a few system services that actually use your location a lot, but you probably don't need them. Like maybe setting the time zone right here or different things like compass calibration that you don't actually need this. Of course, there are some really important things like emergency calls and SOS. And right here, we also have find my phone. You should keep them on, but the most of them will actually just be useless there. So make sure you go ahead, check your location services and configure them the right way. So that is it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Go ahead, leave a like if you did. Of course, subscribe for more videos like this, and I will see you on the next one.